Hello everybody, here is our Fun Fact Friday. Okay, we're going to start off with, do you know what Jesus' first miracle was? Turning water into wine in John chapter 2 verses 3 through 11. And when they wanted wine, the mother of Jesus saith unto him, they have no wine. Jesus saith unto her, woman, what have I to do with thee? Mine hour is not yet come. His mother saith unto the servants, whatsoever he saith unto you, do it. And there were set there six water pots of stone after the manner of the purifying of the Jews, containing two or three firkins apiece. Now, a firkin is a firkin was a unit of measure roughly equal to a Hebrew bath, which was about nine gallons. Jesus saith unto them, Fill the water pots with water, and they filled them up to the brim. And he saith unto them, Dry out now, and bear unto the governor of the feast. And they bear it, when the ruler of the feast had tasted the water that was made wine, and knew not whence it was, but the servant which drew the water knew. The governor of the feast called the bridegroom, and saith unto him, Every man at the beginning doeth set forth good wine, and when men have well drunk, then that which is worse, but thou hast kept the good wine until now. This beginning of miracles did Jesus in Cana of Galilee and manifested forth his glory and his disciples believed on him. Now, Jesus' response to Mary may seem harsh, but it wasn't. Calling her woman was the equivalent to calling someone dear lady. It was being respectful. It would be like saying ma'am now. And stone water pots were used for purification rites. They had to wash their hands and their feet, and everything had to be purified. And filling these pots would have been no small task. When full, they would have held anywhere from 180 to 240 gallons of liquid. Okay, our next one. A young man in a linen garment was following Jesus on the night of his arrest. What happened to him? He fled naked, leaving his garment behind. In Mark chapter 14, verses 51 through 52. And there followed him a certain young man having a linen cloth cast about his naked body. And the young men laid hold on him. And he left the linen cloth and fled from them naked. Now, do you know between the writing of Malachi, which is the last book in the Old Testament, and the beginning of the New Testament with Matthew, yeah, that's Matthew. I don't know why I question myself so much. Okay. There was a period of 400 years. You know, a lot happens in 400 years. It makes my mind wonder at all the stories and all the things that went on in that span of time. Okay. Now I wanted to read something to you all. It is Ephesians chapter 6, and I'm going to read verses... Uh, it's chapter 6, and I'm going to read verses 10 through 24. And this is something that we all need to take hold to. Okay. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and put, on, put in the power of his mind. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against prince, but prince principalities against powers against the rulers of the darkness of this world against spiritual wickedness in high places wherefore take you take unto you the whole armor of god that you may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand stand therefore having your loins girt about with truth and having on a breastplate of righteousness and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, praying always with prayer and supplication in the Spirit, and watching there unto with all perseverance, and supplication for all saints. And for me, that utterance may be given unto me, that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel, for which I am 
and amb an ambassador in bonds. For therein I may speak boldly as I ought to speak, but that ye also may know my affairs and how I do. Tychius, a beloved brother and faithful minister in the Lord, shall make known to all things, to you all things, whom I have sent unto you for the same purpose, that you might know our affairs, and that he might comfort your hearts. Peace be un peace be to the brethren, the lo and love with faith from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace be with all of them that love our Lord Jesus Christ in sincerity. Amen. You know, I think with everything going on, we need to give all our worry, all our fear, unknowing, uncertainty, everything to God and let it go. Don't pick it back up. Put it at his feet. Have pay, you know, Have faith and be at peace with it. Because he will handle it, I promise. And it's it will be okay. You know, everything that happens is God's perfect will. And we just have to have faith and know that he will take care of everything. And he will, I promise. He always has. Nothing's changed. I love you all. You have a good weekend, a safe weekend. I will uh, be back Tuesday. Uh... I'm thinking of doing a lesson, and I should be able to if all goes well. I have something in mind. Just come back Tuesday. I love you all. I will see you Tuesday. Bye.